right. It's the last day of flintlock season. We have like literally eight to ten inches of powder, fresh snow. Took care of some stuff around the house this morning and uh, it's about 120 right now. It was a little sketchy getting up in here with the snow. None of the roads are plowed, but peeked over the first bench here and those gobblers were 40 yards, so I actually thought it was a deer at first. It can't be that easy though. So the wind is coming down over this bench here. So I'm gonna try to get just below the crest here and just snail crawl this way. They should be bedded on this side with the way the wind's going. And there's a ton of fresh tracks coming onto this hillside here. So the wind is a little bit finicky. Mainly it's going that way, but it swirls every once in a while, so. <clears throat> Looking for a big doe today, uh, but flint lock in hand, I'm not gonna be too picky. I got my lock covered, so really makeshift deal there. But hopefully we can sneak up on one and the gun will go off, so we'll see what happens. This is awesome. Well, I just had one of the coolest hunts that I've ever had. Uh, I've been still hunting all afternoon and didn't see a deer up until about an hour ago, right around four o'clock. Um, I found some, the only fresh tracks I've found were running tracks coming down over this hill and out along it. And uh, I got on them quick, moving fast. Until they got to like a, they went from a run to a walk. And I honestly think I bumped these deer about two hours ago, which might have helped me. But sneaking out here through these hemlocks, and I see a deer, and I see another, another deer, another deer, another deer, and they're all bucks. Four bucks, uh, two of them were legal. Uh, you'll see in the video, but. Uh, <laughs> The one walked up to about four steps, and the other one was about 10 yards, and the other two were about 20. Beyond them were a couple does bedded. 
this wind's gonna make it hard. Uh, it's just beautiful out. Windy, eight inches of fresh snow, and a flint lock in my hand. I don't know. So anyhow, those bucks obviously walked right up to me and spooked, went both ways, and the does didn't move. So I worked out the hillside towards them, and the wind was starting to swirl. I got to about 50 yards, and one of them stood up and looked my way. And uh, I was afraid she was gonna go, so I took the shot, and I hit the only branch that was in between me and her. So she left, I went up and checked the tracks, probably like 7,500 yards up the hill. Came back down, just kinda thinking about it, like awesome hunt, whatever. Just taking it all in, and I see a deer walking out the hillside to me. I'm not even reloaded, so I reload. I mean, the deer is just closing the distance. Got to about 35 yards. I pulled up, click, and the gun, gun didn't go off. So, and again, my pan is just like full of water. I'm like, there's no way this is going to work. Pull the hammer back, set the trigger, bam, and she dropped. I just kind of sat there in disbelief like what are the chances last day of flintlock season god is good you just got to go out and give yourself a chance because you never know when you might have a hunt like this but one of these years i'm going to save my buck tag for flintlock season because that's two years in a row i've had legal bucks within 35 yards of me and I couldn't do anything about it, so it's just awesome.